I'm Shelley Betcher, and you're watching Uncorked in Calgary's Hump Day Bargain Wine of the Week. Today we're speaking to Jeff Last, who's the general manager here at Bin 905, and he's also a Calgary Herald wine columnist. Well, this is a Paul Zink Cremant d'Alsace, so I'm a big fan of champagne, and if I could afford it, I'd probably drink champagne, you know, I wouldn't say every night, but several nights a Pretty week. Pretty close. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the champagne budget, of course, is uh, a little beyond my means for, uh, for a daily uh, type tipple. So Cremant is a, is a wine made in France. Anytime you see the term Cremant, it refers to a sparkling wine produced outside of the Champagne region. So these wines are known as Méthode tra Traditionale uh, in, in France, meaning it's made in the traditional method, much as the case with Champagne. But in the EU, if you're making sparkling wine, you can't call it Champagne unless it's made within the Champagne boundaries. Right. So many regions in France uh, who produce other traditional wines make a sparkling wine that is native to the area. So here's one from Alsace. Paul Zink is a, a fantastic producer what um, makes him so fantastic? because his wines are, they offer exceptional value. So he's, he's best known for his dry white wines from Alsace. Traditional dry white wines, Riesling, Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc. Um, and he makes this in the, with champagne grapes. So it's predominantly Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and a little bit of Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc is a native grape to Alsace. Pinot Noir, of course, is not. Although they grow it there, it's really more of a Burgundy specialty. Although Pinot Noir is grown in Alsace. This sells for, for about $24 around town in a number of different wine shops. And it has, a, it has a very much a champagne characteristic to it. It's got some of that nice yeasty, toasty component. Uh, it's got a great lively mousse. Um, it's a fantastic deal for, for the price. So what would you pair that one with? Um, I mean, it's, it's a great aperitif, of course, but it also, I like sparkling wines with food. Um, we had sushi the other night and drank champagne right. with sushi. Um, with uh, shellfish, for example, steamed mussels, clams, that kind of thing. Um, if you were doing like ceviche, anything with um, you know shrimps that are done in a spicy sort of style, where they're done on the grill with any kind of a spicy sauce, uh, sparkling wines go fantastic. This would be great with something like that.